Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the United Way. The big news today is that a prize for Joran Timba has been made. It is 50 million pounds. No, 50 million euros, which is 43 million pounds for Jorian Tom. Jorian uh, Timba. Ajax has accepted it. The situation yesterday and the whole week has been Ajax didn't want to sell uh, Timba, but it was depending on the player. Timba has two years contract more with Ajax, so Timba could not leave on the free, obviously, and could not leave on the cheap. And Ajax was not willing to leave him on the cheap. Actually, in fact, Ajax was trying to extend his contract in order to keep him in Manchester United for longer. So guys, yes, before we start the video, I would like you guys to smash a like on this video. Please, guys, whenever you see this video, smash a like on this video. And also to tell you guys that we're doing this giveaway. You can see the two hats here. On the feet, we have very few more days. On the feet of this month, we will um, actually write, uh, tell you guys who won this uh, face cap. All you need to go, go to our community section. You have to be a subscriber first. Follow us on our uh instagram as well so we can get in contact with you and uh you have to be a subscriber obviously answer the question who is the youngest player to have scored manchester united if you can win that you can get that and then you get one of it so guys this is what is going on here in manchester united before we jump into it straight we need to give a shout out here to our player who just qualified for the premier league you most of you might not know him ghana, ghana james ghana who played for for Nottingham Forest, they are now, they just qualified for the Premier League. It's a very interesting situation for Manchester United because at the end of the season, we're talking about James Garner joining Manchester United. But obviously, he is now in the Premier League. He has helped a team, Nottingham Forest, uh, climb up, uh, return back to the Premier League. Some of you who are new in football, Premier League football might not know what Nottingham Forest is, but he used to be a top club in the Premier League. No, back in the days, yeah. So James Ghana, big up to him and uh, congratulations to Ghana. The other, other question about Ghana is, is he going to play, is United going to bring him into the team? I think you know, Ghana coming back to United, Oh, it would depend. I would say it would depend if he will have a little bit of game time. Yes, but if not, you should not destroy his uh, talent. Leave him in, in the Premier League. He gets one more experience. I think Ghana is how many? 20 years or maximum 21. Then we can bring him next season with the full experience in the Premier League so he can find out his position as a main player. Very good technical player. Yes, guys, let me don't take your time. We go back to the news of the big, big man today. We'll be talking, by the way, some news about... Um, uh, Frank de Jong, which is would might be a little bit positive for you guys, but yeah, this is the guy up here we are talking about. It's uh, Jorian Timba, who has, um, in principle, uh, accepted uh, uh, to join Manchester United. I think he has uh, refused to extend his contract, so Ajax said we need to cash into him. Ajax has given his uh, their go that we will give James Timba for for. 50 million pounds, which personally I think is so expensive. I don't care what you think, but I think 50 million pounds for a 20 year old player is more or less okay because as time goes on, his value will appreciate. He's just 20. He would be, if, he, if we can put him on a five year contract with a one year extension, which will, which no matter what the case is, we can always offload him if he doesn't do well for, I mean, more or less the price uh, well, which uh, we are buying him today. Julian Timba, we have known it's an admirer, admirer of Ten Hag's playing style and play Ten Hag has worked for him. Ten Hag brought Julian Timba to Ajax Amsterdam. It's not like so he knows the player very well. He understands the system of Manchester United, how United and Ten Hag wants to play for next season. But the bigger question here, fans, I want to ask you guys, who will you want to play to put Julian Timba in defense Timba with? Harry Maguire, Veran, or Lindelof. Because obviously we know Phil Jones will be leaving the club. We know we'll be trying to dish out to sell um, Eric Bay. We have suitors like AC Milan who want to buy him. And uh, yeah, so drop your comments below and tell me who you would like to see Durian Timber play because it's... Uh, it's, uh, I mean, the fee, as the thumbnails right? fee agreed, which means it's already, a, uh, you can almost say it's a done deal because there have been already the clue on the both sides. But coming back to another topic, which is not a done deal yet, but it's a wish. It is, 
it is the caviar for Manchester United this summer. If we can get it, ultimately, you guys know United needs to strengthen their midfield. And who is in the midfield player who can be the maestro in the midfield? There's nobody else than Frank de Jong of Barcelona. United have gone to an extreme and in order to increase Barcelona's midfielder, Frank de Jong, to give that Jong to make him the highest paid player in the club. And obviously, maybe in the Premier League, he, if he takes the contract. So, um... I have said United can match his salary of 300 in Barcelona and give him something like a vice captain of the club. But I mean, some of you like Simon Corwell, one of our followers said, you said in the comment below that we can't give a captain for a first year player, a player who just jumped into the team, which I agree. But I can also say that um, I can also say uh I, I can also say that uh, Julian, yeah, I can also say, sorry, I've been saying this a lot. I'm trying to get some Twitter uh, information out there. But yeah, guys, as I said, we uh, we can we can match it. But United has gone extra mile to make him to end like almost 400K a week. 400,000K. We that's half a million dollar a week to join Manchester United. I think that is astonishing money. I mean, that is fantastic money. And, um, and one of the reasons why United need to um, uh, go, go that deep in order to give him a good salary is because he is a top player. That's nothing. I've told you guys that if, uh, in terms of midfield, if you think Neves is here, you think De Bruyne is here, Frank De Jong is here. Some will even say more because he is a, he is a super creative player. He's the type of unselfish player that when he comes to your midfield, if you like Javi, Javi, Javi the, 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 as a player in Barcelona, you will like uh, De Jong. De Jong, it's a give and take player, it's like a movement player, a player that they call the typical playmaker, not the crying baby we have in Bruno Fernandes who cries every time for every every strike, strike he has or any contact. Talking about Bruno Fernandes, I personally think next season will be very key to Bruno Fernandes. If he doesn't perform, he will be in the market 100%. Because uh, I think fans are getting uh, impatient with Duino Fernandez now. And I think most of you will agree with me. Let's get a morning time coffee. So yes, as you guys know, that I said, the big news today is that Fia has been agreeing with Timba, Ajax and Real Madrid. Don't want to take your time as we do in here, guys. So guys, make sure you smash a like on the video. Put your bells up. Subscribe. Share with other fans. Win all this, all what we have here for you guys. Because it's uh, we'll be doing this every three months. Doing some giveaway of our merchandise. So you guys can uh, be part of our community. All we need from you guys is your input. Drop your comments below and tell me what defender you want to see play with James Timba. And uh, if Timba is a player that can help and improve Manchester United as a defense and as a club in general. So we'll talk a little bit about Kante here. Yeah? Some developments that United are interested in bringing Kante to the club. But it would depend a lot on his transfer fee. These are all sources. The reason why I don't talk these sources, these are not my sources. These are all secondary information. Secondary information are information which I saw on the on the, on the internet. You can see it. But this is a fun channel. We talk about it. We do have some sources of us in the UK. But on the, on the bigger picture, we talk more about, we do what fans do. You and I, we argue, we try to see what formula works for us. This is what this channel is all about. So some of you who jump into the channel and talk about fake news, we don't fake anything here. We are not journalists. Journalists can bring the fake here. And then we are here to see if we to, 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 to talk about the news. So the morning show, which we have every day, is more about just talking about the news. So hope you guys have uh, got that in board. As if you have done that, smash a like on this video and if you love this video you will love this one which is near here so showing here so make sure you check it out and see how our transfer will will be moving forward and guys don't forget that on the 10th of this month the transfer window is open game will start so uh without uh taking your time guys stay cool if there is a breaking news if the pen has met the paper which is, I mean, the signature has been done. We'll go on live wherever we are and share it with you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.